All right, mates, how's it going? In today's video, chapter 23 of Arthur's Rise of the Lich King. Tis the penultimate episode of the series, and it's a bit short. So let's get... As Arthas arrived in Northrend, he kind of felt like it was a homecoming of sorts. Last time he'd come here, he had vengeance in his heart, hell-bent on killing the Demon Lord responsible for turning his people into zombies. And now, he himself ruled over the zombies. How strange, the twists and turns of fate. Arthas could also feel the Lich King's presence, not in his mind, or speaking to him through Frostmourne. His master was physically in this land, and he was in trouble. My lord, we have company. Through the snow, Arthas could just about make out the approaching golden red shapes, and as they got closer, his eyes narrowed in surprise and anger as he realised what they were. Dragonhawks. I must say, I'm surprised to see Keldorai here. I would have thought the cold too unpleasant for such a delicate people. You do not see Keldorai here, for we are the Sindorai, the Blood Elves, sworn to avenge the ghosts of Kelthalas. This dead land will be cleansed, and you butcher will finally receive your just punishment. Arthas was amused. The number of these Blood Elves was not insignificant, but Arthas knew he was most likely looking at all that remained of a nearly extinct race, and they'd come here, just for him. Northrend belongs to the Scourge Elf, and you will all soon join them. And then, Arthas and his undead forces charged. Frostmourne was a bit peckish again, and with each soul it consumed, Arthas could feel himself gaining energy and strength. And sometime into the battle, Arthas suddenly heard a voice call out from a hill above. Slay them in his fool's name! Even after everything he'd seen and done, the voice still gave Arthas chills. He risked a glance upwards and was a little bit surprised to see that it was in fact Nerubians that were pouring forth towards the battle. And with them bolstering his ranks, it didn't take long before Arthas was standing in a sea of red and gold clad bodies, which he then proceeded to raise to join his own army. More soldiers for the one we... Oh wow, you're a biggin. The leader of the Nerubians, Anubarak, was quite a bit larger than those it commanded. Looked like some kind of massive beetle and it was now looming right over Arthas, gazing down at him with multiple eyes. Eh, uh, thanks for your assistance. The Lich King sent me to aid you this night. I am an Uberak, ancient king of Asgol Narub. Right, great. Uh, we should probably hurry to Ice Crown, since our mass is in danger. I will gather the rest of my people. We will march together. An Uberak then scurried off, and Arthas suppressed a shudder. He then continued to raise more dead elves, until he came across one that had been ripped limb from limb. These elves are pathetic. It's no wonder we destroyed their homeland so easily. Pity I wasn't there to stop you. It's been a long time, Arthas. Arthas grinned as he realised who that voice belonged to. Prince Kelthas. Arthas Menethil. I would spit at the thought of your name in my mouth, but you aren't even worth that. What? Jesus, even your insults have a stick up their arse. Glad to see you haven't changed. As useless as ever. Here's a question for you. Why weren't you at Kelthalas, anyway? Content to let other people die for you whilst you sat cosy in Dalaran? I should have been there. Instead, I was trying to help humans fight the Scourge. But not anymore. Humans can suck a bag of dicks. I stand only for the Cinderai now. You're going to pay, Arthas, for what you've done. You know, I'm actually enjoying this bit of bants. I must say, though, I'm disappointed in these elves you lead. I was hoping for a better fight. Must have already killed all the ones with spirit. What you faced here was merely a scouting force. Don't worry, you'll have a good challenge soon enough. I assure you, defeating Lord Illidan's army will be far more difficult. Illidan? He's behind this invasion. Oh, shite. Arthas knew it would have been a better idea for him to kill Tychondrius himself. Our forces are vast, Arthas. Even now they march upon Ice Crown Glacier. You'll never make it in time to save your precious Lich King. Consider this payment for Kalthalas and other insults. Other insults? Oh, you mean Jaina. Would you like details of these other insults, Kale? How she felt, how she tasted. Suddenly, a pain attack that was much more severe than any previous one hit Arthas and he fell to his knees, and again witnessed a vision of his master, the Lich King, or Nizul, as Anubarak had named him. Stop being a dickhead and get to Ice Crown. Obey! Are you well this night? My powers are weakening, but I'll be alright. Where'd Kelthas go? Come, teleported away. Well, that's weird. I hate to admit it, but he was right though. They're closing in on our master. We'll never reach the glacier in time. Overland? Perhaps not. But there is another route we can take. Our kingdom lies deep below us. It could provide us a direct shortcut. You're certain we can reach the glacier through these tunnels? Nothing is certain, Death Knight. The ruins will be perilous, but it's worth the risk. And so, off they went. Anubarak led his own subjects, Arthas and the Scourge forces north. And it took bloody ages. But eventually, they reached the gates to Asjol Narub. 
Behold, the entrance to a once powerful and ancient place. I was lord here, and my word was obeyed without question. I bowed to no one, but things change. I serve the- Yeah, alright mate, can we just go inside already? And we're leaving it there! That was a lot of dialogue, but not a lot of video. But the next video is the series finale, I guess. That'll be two whole books finished on this channel, if you don't count the three Chronicle ones. Feels good, man. As usual, link in the description if you're interested in buying this book. Also, there's links to my Discord server and my Patreon page too. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, all of that bollocks. And all that's left to say is, thanks for watching, and see ya!